how did I get into Bitcoin? I had a company with $500 million in cash, earning 0% interest. And I heard the bankers say, we're not even thinking about thinking about raising interest rates. I saw a K-shaped recovery where everybody on Wall Street got 30% richer doing nothing in a year, where everybody on Main Street had to work 30% harder to stay still. That's what I saw last year. If you're on Wall Street with a billion dollars, you went into the year with a billion three. If you're on Main Street working for a living, selling something by the sweat of your brow, you had to raise your prices 30% working harder in order to generate 30% more money to buy the same thing you could have bought before the crisis. What I saw was 2,000 people in my company working hard, doing 100,000 things right every year could make $50 million. And the money in the bank was going to lose $100 million a year in value doing nothing. And we were running as hard as we could and going backwards. Right? That's the problem. It's like uh, you're in a boat. You're rowing across, you're in a rowboat, you're going across the water, and the wind starts blowing in your face, and now you're getting blown backwards. You're going to row harder? The wind is the monetary inflation rate. Right. Right? When it, at 10% wind, it's hard. When it got to 20% wind, who can grow their cash flows 25% a year? <laughs> who can do it? A monopoly. A digital tech monopoly might, but, I mean, nobody else can. Dentists can't. Doctor can't. Normal people can't. Normal company can't. So the wind starts blowing double and triple in your face. You're rowing. You're not going to get across the Atlantic. You're going to die on that rowboat. So what do you do? Turn the boat around. Put up a sail. Sail with the wind. <laughs> yeah. That's what I did. So make a, let me give you an economic short story here. The company's worth a billion dollars. This is micro strategy. We've got a $500 million software company that generates $50, $75 million a year in cash flow. We have $500 million in the bank. We're valued at one times revenue plus the cash. And the cash is going to lose 20%, 30% of its value. So I'm looking at losing $100 million a year, $150 million. By doing nothing, just sitting there. Just sitting there doing nothing. Yeah. Well, so what do I do? I said, well, I'm going to buy something. So I went and I bought Bitcoin. I bought $250 million worth of it. And then I, did a, I, I offered to buy back $250 million of my stock because if my shareholders didn't like the idea, I figured I'd buy them out at a premium. After the buyback, I had another $175 million left. I bought more Bitcoin. We had $425 million of Bitcoin. When I started this journey, Tucker, the stock was $120 a share. We bought out our, our limited partners. We bought out our shareholders $140 a share that didn't like the idea. Um, the stock traded up, Bitcoin traded up. We doubled our initial, uh, our initial investment. The stock kept going up. And then I looked and I said, I'm just going to borrow money. I went and I borrowed $650 million at 75 basis points in the capital market. I issued a convertible bond. I bought the Bitcoin 19,000. The stock kept trading up, Bitcoin kept trading up. We made billions at that point. I went back to the market, I borrowed a billion dollars at 0% interest, because why wouldn't you? And I, if, the, if the money supply is expanding at 25% a year and you can borrow money at 0% interest, all you got to do is buy something <laughs> right. which is scarce, <laughs> right? So I bought a billion dollars of Bitcoin. I issued a billion dollars of bond. To make a long story short, we ended up borrowing $2.2 .2 billion at 1.5% interest. We bought the Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin has hit an all-time high. We now have about $7.5 billion worth of Bitcoin. We've made about a $4 billion investment profit on it. The stock went from $120 to $850. We generated about $8 billion in shareholder value in 12 months. Have you talked to your limited and partners who got out early? <laughs> <laughs> what it's complicated when you're a publicly traded company. I can't even imagine. But, you know, so now what are we? We're, we're like, uh, we're a $500 million software company generating maybe 80 to $100 million a year in cash flow, growing 0 to 10% a year. Right. With a 7 and a half to $8 billion endowment <laughs> that's growing 170% a year. But, you know, it's like, why not?